Hey guys, we're back on 76 and we are checking out a specific base today. I know I'm doing a video on like my favorite bases, that really cool bases, but this one was so unique and practical that I needed to do an actual video just on this. So it's a slider here. Thank you for showing us your base. No problem. All right. He was getting sick of getting griefed. So he made this amazing, I, I don't want to say like foolproof, because I mean, you said that if you do nuke it, the inside gets messed up a little, but basically yeah, well, I mean, impenetrable base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's uh, let's check it out on the inside then. I'll go ahead and follow you okay. wherever. He doesn't have an actual door so that nobody can get in this. But the point now, of the base yeah, is you can't break the foundations, nuke, right? Yeah, and if they do drop a nuke, then um, you've got time to store. Like, all I do is store my rad shower and my generator, because anything other than that is so cheap to replace that, you know, it's... Yeah. I, the decon shower is a really crazy one. Freaking fast yeah. for that. It's nice. Yeah. He's got all his stuff inside, so he doesn't need to go outside for anything. Got a junk pile here, too. It's funny, this is actually the same place as the last base video I did. <laughs> Not really mega base. Oh, really? It's the same area. So there's lots of water here, too. So he's got everything inside, so he has no reason to have to go outside his base at all. When you fast travel to your base, right, it, you come inside. You yeah, fast travel like right in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all my friends spawn inside, too. I've got my camp up on a table up there, so upstairs. Nice. Um, actually, so I'm, I'm pretty sure. Spawn. I'm pretty sure you only spawn in the center where the camp is to begin with. I thought if you move the camp, it didn't actually move the spawn. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, does it? Okay, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let me get unstuck. <laughs> oh, shit! There Can we go. Under the stairs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't fit a foundation right there, because it was like where I put it was so close to the junk pile. Like, I'll probably... Yeah. I mean, if I do one of my main characters, then I'll redo... I mean, on different jump piles anyway, but I'll just be more careful about where I'm putting the foundations around. Oh, that's just my bad, because I fall in, like, every possible yeah, no, place yeah. that I can fall in. <laughs> I fall off of everything. Yeah. So. Right. So, oh, the only problem with this, you notice I'm, I'm actually stuck right here. Yeah, just walk to the end of the wall and you can get off. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, it's it's uh, awesome, but there is a little bit of glitchiness going on here because of the fact that you're using foundations as yeah, well. But you get used to just being careful and like not getting up against the wall and if you do like i said you just get a, you know walk off if you get like on stuff on a wall that's like over there i have a set of power armor on me i'll just put it on and it'll pull me off or whatever yeah. um but yeah i mean yeah, i think it's worth it for the the security you get because if they did drop like i had a friend drop a new dead smack on this base all the foundation stood the only thing that broke was the uh like workbenches and junk like that it cost me i think like 30 something steel and like two of every other, like two circuits and two bullet blocks. So did it break every it single thing on the wrench. inside? Oh yeah, it was all gone, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I mean like not the not the stairs or the floors or anything like that, but like oh, yeah, no. all the workbenches and stuff like that. I stored my- So like the shell of the building stayed? Did it. Yeah, yeah. They, so nobody could still get in. So it was still like, you know, an impenetrable fortress, but all this you know, stuff inside it was gone. But I mean like, Really, if somebody's gonna go to the trouble of dropping a nuke on my building, it take it would take it, like right? maybe five minutes of farming <laughs> to get all of this stuff replaced. You know, I don't see why people think them ten minutes to get the key card and fifteen to twenty thing. to go through the bunker. And you know, if they want to spend thirty minutes to my five minutes, go for it. <laughs> why don't you take me outside and we'll take a peek outside how you did this, sure. and you can show me your little trick with the campfire again. Campfires sure are awesome in this game. Okay, so I got distracted for a second. So you took out this one here and come out this way. Yeah. I'm gonna put it back in. Yeah, and like I said, I would have made this bigger, but the uh, tree got in the way, so I had to like cut it down a little bit actually. I mean, like you'd be amazed, like trees. doing all the foundations with all the workbenches stored and everything like that. I was not even near under half my budget. Like, it was incredible. Like I thought it would take eat up so much more, but it really doesn't. Yeah, the big foundations don't eat that much up, is what you're saying, right? Because I, mm -hmm. I would have thought really this don't. would take up a lot, too. It's very bright up yeah. here. Wow. So, <laughs> he was able to stack the foundations by using, was it campfires and the posts? So, why don't we, if yes. you don't mind, can we show that yeah. off a little bit? Okay, so let me store this floor. 
So you see this is the ceiling. There's nothing underneath it. So these are basically all of these blocks we're walking off of top are floating blocks. So, so when there's nothing underneath it, all you need is the campfire. You don't need anything else. So if I put a campfire here, and it just barely needs to hang off the edge of the foundation, just like a very tiny bit. And then you can replace the ceiling there. Okay, before you place the ceiling, let me let me show. Yeah, okay. yeah, go ahead. So see how it's green there? Um, I know you just put it down. Could I actually have you remove the campfire again so I can show that if the campfire is not there, sure. it doesn't work? Yep. Okay, so he moved the campfire, and now it says it's floating. So that's how to get it when there's no other foundation below it. So if you want right. to put that back and then show me the post thing you were telling me about. We'll just, yeah, okay. we'll just walk over to this one. Um, so okay. to get it on top of another foundation, you need a post. So you do the campfire thing again, and then oh, hey. go over to stairs. Wait, it's not making me do a post, actually. It's letting me snap oh, it with not? the campfire there. Really? That's interesting. Good to snap it in. Well, why don't you show what you had to do anyway, just in case we just got really lucky right oh, here. Okay. yeah. But so what I normally would do is uh, I'd put a post, let's see, where are we? Oop, like right there. Okay. And it should let you snap it in. Huh. That's cool that it let us do it without. I wonder if they fixed something with that. Yeah, that's interesting. That uh, I, I, I couldn't get it to go without a post um, when I was doing it on top of another foundation. And then there's another trick as far as like getting it to like, like when you're getting your first one, since you don't have a campfire to put on top of the one on top of it, obviously. Yeah. You've got to um, take a pair of stairs initially, yep. put them down, and then put a floor on top of that. I have the budget for this right now. Cause... Uh oh. <laughs> and then you put your campfire, let's say. Oh, uh, on the edge of the floor, and then work from on there. On the edge right? of the floor, right. Gotcha. And then you can put a um, foundation underneath it. And then if you want to go down a level you do the same thing just going down off the foundation put the floor at the bottom of the stairs and then do the same thing so that way you can awesome. you can do any terrain it doesn't have to be a flat surface or anything like that cause this yeah because you kind of work this into the landscape here yeah, yeah. Oops, and you can go up and down doesn't matter whatever as long as they reach the same height they don't have to be the same number of foundations high basically yeah so you were able to make this work here too Mm -hmm. So this is impenetrable, even though there's like a little sliver of a crack here that you can see. He had somebody come and try to shoot through it. So I th think I'm going to try yeah, to you break your base. Yeah, you want to leave the team and shoot it. If you yeah. Bounty, I'll kill your bounty. How about that? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll <laughs> see. I'm so confident that you're not going to get one. But let me go ahead and uh, put all this stuff back and then okay. get rid of everything that would not be up here. Because I don't, I don't keep anything on top of the base, basically. That yeah, because then that would make broken. it. Yeah. Yeah, that would give me make it useful. Sure. So yeah, because I had a bunch of street lights up here and stuff, and I was like, that's kind of dumb because like if that just kind of takes away the whole idea of the fact that they can't touch anything. Yeah, because then there's stuff that would break. And yep, should be impenetrable now. So have at it. Okay, so let me try to figure out where your stuff was. So if I like. Okay. I mean, the so now I can't find a like crack right. anymore. I don't want to purposely break your rad shower, shower if I'm going to break anything. Uh, <laughs> you, know? you really, you're that confident, huh? Wow. All uh, right. Yeah. What if I got like shot. under here? Do it. Oh, I don't have pacifist mode on. Hold on. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen <laughs> at all. Yeah, that might help. Okay, let's try that again. Kind of shooting in random spots. I don't have any big explosives on me. <laughs> yeah, but you can see you still have no bounty because you're not doing any damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And I mean, I could have left the like left the corners on, um, or I could have left the like bottom layer foundations there, or the top, even the top layer that was like. I could have made a top layer around the roof, but I mean, there's no real point. It just takes away from the budget. You don't need it. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. So, Nothing is getting, not even a tiny bit of explosive damage on the inside. I don't have any bounty. Uh, so this is super cool. Thank yeah, you for showing me this. Really appreciate it. 
So I'll probably go ahead and cut here. That's what I got to show you. But I am still taking submissions until the end of February for the camp video where I'm just showing off cool camps in general. Unless I find something amazing like this, I have to make a single video on like this one. <laughs> but we'll see. So Definitely never thanks for watching. As as this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the top here. It's um, it's. I don't know if I use the word pretty. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Oh, sword, That's what it is. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.